Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. And I'm Erica Botker, corporate marketing specialist. Quilters, when we think of mittens, my mind goes directly to cold winter days, frost in the air, and building snowmen with my granddaughter, Oakley. Oh, me too. I can see John outside with a scarf and matching mittens, having a snowball fight with his brother. It may not end well, but it sure is fun. And mittens are so warm and cozy. And can be handmade with love. We're thrilled to announce the release of the new Go Mittens die. This highly requested shape is on a 5 by 10 die board, so it will fit through any of our AccuQuilt cutters, including the Go Me and Studio cutter with the appropriate adapter. This shape is perfect for small projects, wall hangings, gift tags, and embellishments. Think how quickly you can cut stacks of mittens. Now, most mitten shapes are cut using a template or a pattern, but with AccuQuilt, you can pre-fuse your fabric and cut up to four perfect mitten shapes in one pass through the cutter. Now, quilters, think outside the box when you're thinking about fabric when it comes to your mittens. You can cut them out of cotton or felt or even wool. Now, you're going to need four mittens for our project, so let's show you how to cut them. All right, so first of all, let's talk about the uh, shapes on the die yes. board. So here's this cute little mitten shape. Mm -hmm. And look, we even have a cuff. The cuff. And the snowflake. Tell snowflake. us about the snowflake. This I is important. I love this snowflake. Can you imagine cutting that snowflake by hand, Pam? No. No. And all of these shapes have our free downloadable embroidery yep, file. They sure do. Including that including snowflake. Including that snowflake. And yeah. think about all the different uses for just the snowflake alone. Oh yeah, it's just going to be great. Exciting. All right, so let's show everyone how to yes. cut our shapes. So this is our mitten shape. We've already pre-fused our cotton fabric, mm -hmm. so we don't have to worry about lengthwise right. green. And I'm going to lay that here. Here's the piece for our cuff. Yep. And what a great scrap buster. Oh, absolutely. And then here's our little piece for our snowflake. Perfect. Now this is on a 5x10 die board, so you want to make sure we have our 5x10 cutting mat. Which we do. There we go. And we're going to cut it with our Go Me today. Yep. All right, here we go. All right, so let's not run into the set here because it looks so cute. Now, quilters, you're going to need mittens that go in opposite directions. That's right. So you would put one uh, facing up and one facing down, and that way your fabric will there you go. be opposite. There we go. Give How it a little love. How easy. Slide, don't lift. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is, Erica. This is so adorable. I'm just in love with this. And this cute little snowflake right here. If so, I had to cut those by hand, I might cut one. I don't think I would cut any. I would just make it without the snowflake. <laughs> Probably. All right, well, next up, let's show everyone how to make one of the peppermint blocks for our peppermint twirl wall hanging. It's hanging behind us, it's so cute. It's so cute. And I love it because it has those bright pinks and that yes. red and that pink. So actually, Erica, we're gonna use our cube to cut Perfect. these out, right? So you wanna tell us which shapes that we need? We are gonna be using shapes two and five. So that's gonna be the small square and the small half square triangle. And this is from our six inch cube. It is. Okay, and then we're going to have the trapezoid. Right. That's going to come out of the six-inch companion angles for us. Excellent. All right, Erica, so there are actually four of shape two on this yep. one die board. So we're going to measure from here to here, rough cut, and um, we only need one piece today, so I'm just going to put one piece there, but you can always cut up to six layers. All right. So we're going to use our six by six cutting mat. All right. I Look at you being cutting. our big cutter today. I will be. And while Erica's cutting that, this is our smaller half square triangles. This is shape number five. So I have taken my fabric, again, fan folded back and forth. There we go. Okay. And we're going to use that same. We're going to need the same mat. Yep. I'll slide it off for you. Excellent. She's keeping me busy today, guys. I know. Earning our keep. All right. Now, the thing I want to talk to you about on our trapezoid shape is that there are two on this die board. So keep that in mind, quilters, that sometimes on our dies there are multiple shapes. Right. All right? Right. And again, I'm just going to lay my fabric right here. Erica's going to cut it for us. I am. 
Look at how fast. This is really a fun, easy block to put together, but it's so cute. It is. And you could use any size cube if you wanted to. We're going to okay. use our six today. So those are going to be our four trapezoids. Yes. All right, Perfect. filters. So here we go. So um, I'm going to tell you that, first of all, think how difficult it would be to cut these tiny little pieces oh, by hand. Oh, it would take forever. This is such a slick project yeah. with the dies. AccuQuilt, accurate, fast, 90% faster. So we're just going to hang out and make a block here. I like to build a block, don't you? I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> that way I know I'm doing it the right direction. That's right. There's our trapezoid. Okay. Makes such a great effect. It does. And don't panic when you take a look at this because you're going to look at it. Somebody's going to take a look at this and say, oh, Pam and Erica, that doesn't fit. Yeah. But we've got seam allowances in here. And right. once it's sewn together, it is going to fit, isn't it? Right. And we've cut off the dog ears. So from mm -hmm. this point here to this point here is a quarter inch seam. All right. So let's sew our shapes together. So I'm going to start here this direction. Mm -hmm. And I am going to... So from here to here, okay, all right, and we have that great quarter inch seam allowance. And then I love this, this is a great chain piecing block. Yes. So then next, I'm gonna look how perfect that look fits Look how perfect it fits in. All right. Now the key is, while well, Pam's sewing that, you wanna be sure you've got your half square triangle laid out correctly, because if you don't put it correctly, if you had it maybe like this, well, you'd have a problem, wouldn't you? Yeah, so it would not we have go right. to make sure that when you lay it out, and sometimes it just helps to actually do exactly what we did here and lay it out. Okay, would I'm you gonna, like me to press? I'm, yeah, I'm going to bring my little iron over she here. She's finding jobs for me today. Okay, hmm. and now I'm going to just chain piece this piece. Okay. So, quilters, gosh, if you're a beginning quilter, this is such a great project and super fast. It is. A weekend kind of project. And I love this colorway. I just love the pinks with the turquoise. Yep. This is definitely on my to-do list. I know we say that all the time. Okay. So, but here is a tip. You do want to make a test block. You do. You do. Now, now did you press these open? I, I pressed them towards the white. Okay. Okay. I will do that. Okay. And look at how easy those go together. Okay, so now I'm going to come back here and make sure that I'm sewing this the right way. So yes. look at how great that's going to look. And we're just going to press this out. There we go. Perfect. Okay. All right. There you go, my friend. This. And look how fast this block is going to go together. It is. So it's basically just a four patch. Yes, over and over and over, over again. Over and over. So when I was making our test block, I sewed all of the one side to one, and then I sewed the half square triangle mm -hmm. to the trapezoid. I did all of them in one perfect fell swoop. Yeah, that's great. And then when you lay your blocks out, and when you're putting them into your quilt, you want to make sure that you've got all your pieces when you're laying out your four patch. You want to make sure we've got our little propel peppermint propellers there all going the right direction, right? I like that peppermint propellers. Peppermint propellers. Okay. All right, let me give that a quick press there for you. There you go. I'm going to press this one open. You know, when I'm working with the shapes from the six inch cube, I press, I tend to press open. Yes, because they're so small. The smaller the shape, the more I press open. And you know, we're both pressed to the dark side girls. So. We are. But there we go. All right, there, that'll go together easier for you. All right, Perfect. and then I'm just gonna line up these seams and they're gonna come together beautifully. Mm -hmm. I just love it, because we cut them correctly, right? This is definitely a weekend project and it would not be if you didn't have dies to cut it. Oh no. You'd spend your whole weekend cutting, let alone getting it all sewn. And I really like how the borders set off the design in the center, don't you? Oh, I do, I do, I do. Just that little pop of turquoise pulling it out to the edge. I love it. Getting all my pieces here. She probably should have used a pin. I know. I was just now thinking that as well. <laughs>
right. There we go. Ta-da, ta-da, and there is my block. So I would give this block a really good press, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. it would be ready to go. It would be. All right, so quilters, follow the directions to finish the quilt top. Add batting and backing to sandwich the quilt. You can baste it or pin it and then quilt as desired. Add that binding. Erica, we were thinking maybe a stripe on a bias binding oh, yes. would look really cute on that. Really cute. Make sure you miter your corners. Be sure to share your finished projects made with the Go Mitten Die on our social media pages. We'd love to see them and we can't wait to see what ideas you come up with. Now, remember at AccuQuilt, we're here to help you cut time so you can quilt more.